Welcome to the magnificent, marvellous Maasai Mara, and we've got some of the best news possible. We're right up against the Ololo Escarpment, and uh, we found the Sausage Pride, but I think this is different two females to the ones we saw last time, and they've got two little cubs, but you can barely see them in that grass, and, well, they've disappeared into that grass. Oh, no, there they are. They're moving behind us. Now... We've got Dangerous Davy Stork bringing you these gorgeous pictures. And my name is Brent Leo Smith. And you are coming, we're coming to you live from the Maasai Mara in Kenya. Ooh, those girls look like they could definitely do with a meal. Now, we're still learning who and what all the lion dynamics are in this area. So it is always very exciting. Now, we've seen two females, three females, sorry, from the Sausage Pride with cubs of about five or six months old. Now, this morning, just through the long grass, we saw a diving baby that looked quite a lot younger. I'm hoping they're going to walk up onto that termite mound shortly. And you can see how the, the lionesses stop and look back and are waiting for them to keep up. Come on, little guys. I've seen at least two. There could be more. And they've been very, very playful, charging through the, the long grass. So we can see, we just see little tails popping up. We don't actually see them too often. But I'm just going to move the vehicle. Hi, Dina. Dina says, woohoo, Cat Day is starting off with a roar. Now, with the sausage pride, the last time we saw them, those cubs didn't look like they'd seen vehicles, so they were a little bit jumpy. So, I'm keeping my distance at the moment. Oh, there's a cub. And just gauging their reaction so far. The right, Davy. There we go. There we go. Hello, little ones. And uh, so far, they're looking... Pretty relaxed. Now, looking at that female, she's got a very nice, distinct notch out of her her right ear. Now, I don't think that's one of the ones we saw before. There are six different females in this pride, and they do split from each other quite frequently. Now, as I said, I've been gauging their reactions. The reactions look quite good. Oh, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful shot, Davi. Oh, the floodplain of the Mara River in the distance. Kylie's wondering why do they are they called the sausage pie? Well, Kylie, it's because they like to pop into the local butchery, and they're very fond of sausages. No, I'm joking, of course. They um, quite often are seen hiding in a, or not hiding, but hiding from the biting flies. There's some big sausage trees in this area, and uh, they can be seen sleeping in the boughs of the sausage tree. Now, we've got to be very careful off-roading this area. There are lots of rocks, termite mounds, and uh, probably the most dangerous thing, artfark burrows. And those artfark burrows are often inhabited by warthogs around here, and that is this pride's favorite food, while the migration is not around. Yeah, I'm just going to scoot forward a little bit, Davi, and then I'm going to stop. We don't want to go tumbling into an, a, 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 a warthog's home. Oh, look at the cub. He's coming closer to us, Darby. I'm going to stop now. They're, it's curious. Hello, little guys. Those are much younger than the other three we've seen. I would say these guys, oh, difficult to say in the long grass, but probably four months, maybe even a little bit less. And they came much closer to us to come investigate. Now, mom, or well, both the females have shown very little interest in us, and that's, oh, they're off they go. Oh, jump. Wasn't oh, this wonderful? Oh, it's so lovely to spend time with playful lion cubs again. It's been a while. Okay, let's keep up with them. Now, fortunately for us, it seems like they are heading back to the road. And you can lose roads here. Oh, there's a big hole. And a big hole with water. That means we would get stuck in the mud. And 
and be very careful off-roading here. You first gear, low range, you don't know what's in this beautiful long with the meter grass. Just hope you guess correctly. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you do have any questions for us. There we go. They're going to pop out into some shorter grass. Oh, there's a tiny, tiny one. There's three. So there we go. So definitely a different three cubs, all younger than the cubs we've seen from the Sausage Pride before. So that puts the current six adult females and three little bundles of or six bundles of joy. Well, some of them not so little. They're closer to uh, six, seven months old. No, more, more, there's more cubs that just keep coming out of the grass. There's four now. Isn't this awesome? How oh, absolutely wonderful. Prop two properly little ones. There we go, who's about to be mauled by an older cousin or sibling. This is so cool. I really like this pride, or well, particularly because I really like this area. It does make them quite difficult to find sometimes because of the length of the grass. But when you do find them, it is just truly so worthwhile. Oh, look at this. Stalking, stalking, stalking. <laughs> when is the pants coming? There it is! Boom! Uh, Dina says she can't get over this gorgeous landscape. Neither can I, Dina. Okay, now come little ones, follow the big ones out. So I can probably see these guys, I would say about four months old, four and a half months old, maybe. Maybe a little bit older. Let's just get forward a little bit. Let's get back onto the road. I think that's a road in front of us. Yes, Dave's up high, he, he confirms. It is indeed a road. Now, make sure we find the right place to join the road. Quite often there's quite a big dip. You're holding on, Dave? Lara would like to know how old do I think the little cubs are. Lara, I'm just trying to get a very good view, but I would say probably three months old. Um, but it is quite difficult. We're just catching snatches of them through the long grass. And uh, I'm going to try to keep up with them. And at least they are moving parallel to the road, which is making our life a little bit easier for now. But they are properly on the move. And, I mean, I was quite impressed with my spot this morning. And I saw them from a really long distance. They were way up on the escarpment. And there's a little ravine up there with some big boulders. And I think uh, the, those cubs might have been stashed there. And the females might have come to fetch them. And they, they look quite hungry, but they're walking like they're... Mm, they might, might have some meat somewhere. So we definitely get, look at that, they just basically vanish into that grass. Now, you be careful if you're a warthog. You come round the corner, and you'll find yourself a lioness on top of you, which is not ideal if you're a wart pig. But, so it seems like Ali and I have managed to find some lions, but alas, poor Taylor is still searching.